Hello, it's Jan, Jan Moss again and today I want to show you how to use Jing to embed a video into your WordPress blog. Now I don't know which other blogs it works on, you'll just have to try it and if it doesn't work I've got a, a, a way around it, a cheats way, but I won't do that today, I'm just going to do this bit and then on another video I'll show you how to do it. Now I know on um, Empower Network at the moment, Empower and then power blogs it doesn't seem to work so I can show you a different way how I got round it last time and we're waiting to see if there's something that can be done or not and if so if not it doesn't matter because we've got a different way to do it but this is a normal wordpress.org blog I think it might not work on wordpress.com but we'll see what happens with this okay so first of all we've got Jing at the top on mine now you can move your jing around, you can move it to the side, if you've got your sun over there it'll st stick to the wall, it's a bit like throwing snowballs, it'll stick at the bottom, but most people like it at the top I think, it's the default but you can have it wherever you like. Now we had a video earlier, let's move in a little bit, we had a video on the history, you can tell which is a video because it's got these movie strip things on them. Young people of today won't know what that means, will they, I suppose, but and you can go on to view. So that's the video we had. Now at the bottom you'll see we've got all these different buttons. We've mentioned them before. <coughs> Excuse me. And I mentioned that you didn't need these the Jing buttons here, but in this case you would do if you wanted to embed a video. So what you'd need to do is click on that, and you get this customised Jing buttons. I just thought I'd got a, a scratch on my lens then, but I think it's the reflection of the of the camera on the on the screen. Here, this one is the normal one, share, share it via screencast where you get the URL. You can save, copy. This is the one I added before. You can add it to Twitter. You can add to Facebook, <coughs> to Flickr. And this is the one you need to get in. Edit share via screencast.com with embed, which I named it that. Now, what you do is press new. just had to have a break there, I've still got my bronchitis and I made you coughing fit, sorry about that. So these are the different buttons that you can add. Now I have to tell you that the YouTube button, which would be really useful, they've got wires to that and you now have to upgrade. If you press that you have to get Snagit, which is, I think I said before, you, can, you have to do it with uh, Camtasia, but you, you can only edit images with Snagit, not your videos, so I was right. Um, but you could upload your videos to YouTube. Now that is cheaper than Snagit, uh, than uh, Camtasia, but you still have to pay. So we'll get um, around embedding our videos another way. So Twitter, Facebook, Flickr, FTP, that's if you're uploading to your website a different way. Copy and save. Now what we want is to share via screencast.com again however this is different because we want to that's what it's going to look like that button again what we want to do is instead of having the URL which is here we change that to embed code and you can share it to whatever folder you want your gin folder or to oops that will take you to your screencast.com page and you can create a folder in there which is quite useful because you could have a, a folder for your just for your blog post videos or whatever start a new folder and you fill all that in but today, just for the purposes of showing you how to embed a video, we won't bother with that. Go back to my Jing. 
where were we on this one just we'll just have it on Jing if you allow commenting if you want to but if it's on your blog anyway it doesn't there's not much point okay and then you can change that if you want share via screencast.com via embed that's what I did previously so I won't change that now save so that's that's the new button there okay so we've got that now so we've got this this video that we want to embed so we go down that's the one that I that's the one I just did but that's the one I had before so we we'll use that one share via screencast.com click on that and at the top you'll see it says uploading to screencast your capture has been sent and the embed code is ready to be pasted so then you go to your it's on your clipboard already you go to edit post most importantly you've got to be on the text tab not on the visual tab on the text tab or HTML tab right click and paste and you'll have this in there this, that's where you don't want to put it in your visual because you don't want to be looking at that so if we save it and then preview when it's finished saving preview and we just have to wait for it to come up this is my blog. Now this is my this is my normal blog, not my Empower Netmark blog. Now, see it's worked. If we press that, it will play. However, you'll see it's huge. So we need to make it smaller. So how do we do that? You can do it two ways. If you if you're clever, not like me, you can change your width and your height in there. But I think the easiest way is to go onto the visual tab again. This is your video look, and if you click on it, you get a little tab, little square in the corner like that. You hover over it until you get a double-edged arrow like that. Oops! I had to do this while you're videoing with one hand. You move that in, and you'll see the size shows how big the size is there on the uh, screen. It's still over the edge. Look, it's too big over there. So do it a bit more. And I'm sure all the techies amongst you are screaming with disgust about how I'm doing this, but this is for the non-techies like me. Okay, I'll make it a little bit smaller. And we'll save it again. And go on to the video refresh. <clears throat> and it's vanished. No, hopefully it's not. Just taking the time. Still a little bit big look. <clears throat> now you can try <coughs> excuse me to just bring the side in to make it less fat however without making it thinner what happens then refresh again <clears throat> takes a while Cause this, this is probably where the uh, ah, there we are that's just right you just get a little black line the top and the bottom so it's it's up to you whether you want it like that or without the black line and that's it the only other thing is you've got this unable to display content content and Adobe Flash is required. Not quite sure why they put that on there. I think it's in case it doesn't work um, at all then you'll know, you'll know something's on there. So go back into the text and just find that where it says that and delete it. Just make sure all you delete is the text. Is your Refresh again. Mm. 
And there we are, that's gone now, just to prove it works. Hello, this is Jan, Jan Moss, and today I'm going to show you... There you go, perfect. So that's how you embed a Jing video onto your WordPress blog. I hope that's helpful. If you've got an Empower Network blog, you might find that that doesn't work. And in my next video, I will show you how to do a cheat and get around that uh, until they've either, you know, in case they do something about that, that's great. But if not, we can get a cheat way around. So this is Jan Moss showing you how to do a Jing Embed video. See you next time.